Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to uninstall Windows 11 version 24H2 and roll back to version 23H2 or 22H2. If you upgraded to the latest version of Windows 11 and it is causing issues or you want to stay on the previous version a little longer, you can complete this task using the recovery settings. However, you only have the option to complete the rollback during the first 10 days after upgrading to the new version. After the 10 days, the computer will delete the files automatically to free up space on the hard drive. After removing the update, you might need to reinstall some apps if they were installed during the time that you have the new version. Also, settings that you might have applied while using the new version will also be removed and you might need to reapply them. However, your files will be preserved. Okay, let's dive into steps to uninstall Windows 11 version 24H2 and roll back to the previous version. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, to uninstall Windows 11 version 24H2 from your computer, do this. Open Start and look for Settings. Then go to System. Then open the Recovery page. Under the Recovery Options, you are going to find the Go Back setting and then just click the Go Back button. Click the Next button. Click the Not Thanks button. On this page, the wizard is going to explain what's going to happen during the uninstall process, which includes that you may need to reinstall some apps in programs and you will lose changes made on the settings after installing the latest build. Then click Next. Now, you're likely to be using a Microsoft account, so you don't have to worry about this warning. But if you were using a different password on the previous build and you have a new password on the new installation, you will need to sign in with the old password if that's the case. This is what this warning is. And now click Next. And the last step, you just need to click the Go Back to Earlier Build button. On your installation, this button may have a different name. Now, when you click the button, the computer will restart and the previous version of the operating system is going to be applied on the computer. I do not have to roll back on this computer so i'm going to click the cancel button but that's exactly what you need to do to uninstall the newest version of windows 11 on your computer one thing i wanted to point out is that if this option is grayed out or you don't see it at all you won't be able to roll back because the system will not have the files to proceed with the configuration if this is the case you can still roll back but you will need to do that using a clean installation of Windows 11. And that requires for you to create a backup of your files and then erase the computer, install the version that you want, and then restore the files from backup. Now, if for any reason the computer doesn't start correctly after upgrading to version 24H2 and you can get to the desktop, you can still uninstall the new version through the recovery settings. And to do that, you want to power off the device and then power the computer back on. When you see the Windows logo, which at this point is the power on self test, also known as post, just press and hold the power button again to interrupt the booting process and shut down the computer again. Repeat these steps one or two more times until the computer starts automatically into the automatic repair mode. I am going to do that exactly on this computer and then I will resume into the Windows recovery environment. On this page, click the Advanced Options button and then click on Troubleshoot. Then go to Advanced Options and then click on Uninstall Updates. In here, click the Uninstall Latest Feature Update and then simply click the Uninstall Feature Update button to revert to the previous version of the operating system. And that's it. Those are two quick ways that you can revert back to the previous version of Windows 11 if version 24H2 is not working correctly or you want to spend a little more time in the older version of the operating system. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.